Thailand 2020, a salute borrowed from movie Hunger Games and symbolizes protesters' three demands. Hong Kong 2019, protesters asking for the government's response to their five demands. From the use of helmets, umbrellas, secret chat groups to the way activists distribute resources, the two pro-democracy protests share striking similarities. And activists from the two places do feel connected in some ways. As tens of thousands in Thailand defied the ban on gatherings and turned out to protest, activists in Hong Kong voiced their support. Hong Kong people stand with Thailand, just like how people in Thailand stand with Hong Kong in 2019. Thai people in Thai is also a place that really inspires Hong Kongers a lot to continue our fight for freedom. More freedom and democracy, a goal that both protest movements share. Both are also contending with political repression. In Hong Kong, it's the Chinese Communist Party tightening its grip on the semi-autonomous city. In Thailand, it's combined power of the military and the monarchy. The bond between protesters is further strengthened by the so-called Milk Tea Alliance, which also includes Taiwan. The online coalition got its name because the drink is popular in all three places. We have the Milk Tea Alliance between Hong Kong, Taiwan and Thailand, in which we all long for democracy. So we want everybody here to support Hong Kong as well, because Hong Kongers are facing violence not much different than us. Rallying in solidarity, protesters in Thailand are lighting up hope for themselves, as well as their counterparts more than a thousand kilometers away. Joining us is Hang Xuan Li, who filed this story. Hang Xuan, tell us more about the Milk Tea Alliance. Sure. It refers to a loose, largely online coalition of activists from Thailand, Hong Kong and Taiwan. And it's got the name Milk Tea because it's a drink very popular in Asia. And all the three places have got their own variation of that drink, all of them very tasty, of course. But it's not just the tea. Um, so all three places have very similar political struggles and activists uh, in the places for, um, in the case of Thailand and Hong Kong, they have been, um, there had been some protests and um, the protests have been anti-authoritarian and all the activists share the same goal. They want to have more democracy. I love milk tea too, but it is a very strange name. How did this start? It all started earlier this year when a Thai actor retweeted a post uh, that referred to Hong Kong as a country. And then his girlfriend, a Taiwanese girlfriend, um, also tweeted something about the coronavirus that angered Chinese netizens. So online users from China or boats started to troll and flooded social media platforms with pro-Beijing posts. So to fight back, some Thai uh, netizens started to use some uh, memes, uh, very quick-witted memes, with hashtags, and one of them was Milk Tea Alliance. And that quickly got a lot of echoes, and instantly people from Hong Kong and Taiwan had been joining this movement and posting uh, created even more memes. And so it all started as a joke, but then it became a real bond among the activists. I mean, how tangible is this alliance? So things are happening on social media, but to what extent are protesters in Hong Kong and Thailand supporting each other? As we've seen in the report, Thai protesters um, have been demonstrating for Hong Kong at their very own protests. And in the meanwhile, Hong Kong activists have also tried to help their counterparts. Um, over the weekend, there had been an online petition at change.org that was uh, initiated by Thai protesters. And uh, the website has been instantly blocked by the Thai government uh, because it's sensitive. And so after reading the news, Hong Kong activists uh, have campaigned online and asked fellow Hong Kongers to help sign the petition for Thailand. And also um, signs uh, like Stand with Thailand, refugees can be seen in Hong Kong. 
as well. That's very interesting. To what extent is there going to be an impact when we look at these transnational protest movements? I think it already has an impact. So through the Milk Tea Alliance, there's been quite a lot of exchanges uh, among uh, Thai and Hong Kong um, activists. And Thai protests, um, in fact, Thai protesters have uh, adopted a lot of strategies uh, from Hong Kong, from the Hong Kong protests last year. That's why when we compare the pictures of the two protests, we, we've seen that the pictures are so similar. That's the reason behind it. And also, I think a new tactic of protest swapping has emerged um, and it's unprecedented because it's two completely different places um, um, trying to promote each other's cause and that's now all possible um, because it's all online now and I think this kind of borderless resistance can really change the protest culture in the coming years. That's very interesting and you, of course you also see Oregon protesters looking online to see how Hong Kong protesters uh, have been fighting back against police. Very interesting, the globalization of the protest. Hang Shun Lee, thank you.